perform an autologous stem cell transplant, where it requires two different phases. The first phase is to get the stem cells out of the patient and into the freezer so that we can keep them aside before, before we give them the chemotherapy to collect the stem cells, which is done using um, a chemotherapy drug called cyclophosphamide, which we usually give on a Saturday. And we need to give that chemotherapy because that combined with GCSF, which is a hormone that the body makes, that the patient gives to themselves as an injection under the skin, the combination of those two factors, 10 days later, allow the stem cells to come from the bone marrow into the blood. And when they're in the blood, we can capture them on a machine called an apheresis machine. They usually wait for about a month until they come back in for the actual stem cell transplant. The stem cell transplant is a four-week hospital admission. In the first week, they get chemotherapy given through usually a drip in their neck called a central venous line, and that's given through that line. And then over the following four or five days, they get chemotherapy given to them each day. Once the chemotherapy is finished, the stem cells are taken from the freezer that we collected in, in the first part of the procedure and are given back like a blood transfusion. Part A, or collecting the stem cells, is really a 10 to 14 day period of chemotherapy on a Saturday, injections, and then the following Monday or Tuesday you have the cells collected. The stem cell transplant is a four week hospital admission.